check it out. Look at that. Merch came in. I'm JD the Media Jack and welcome to another edition of the Media Jack podcast. Today is going to be a little bit different, or at least this episode is going to be a little bit different. If you plan on listening to this podcast through audio download sites, I'm going to apologize to you right now that this podcast specifically is more for the visual medium as I have for you a taste test between myself and the Iron Bikini, Alicia Simpson, as we try some weird Pringles later on in the show. It's something we've been wanting to try to do. But also, I sent a care package to a couple of friends of mine. You might know them, Mark and James, known as Marked Up Media and Carberry80 on social media and on YouTube. They're from Ohio. I'm from British Columbia, Canada. I sent them some quintessential Canadian stuff for them to try out. They had an idea as to a few things in the care package, but not everything. And I, well, you'll find out for yourself. But yeah, look at the shirt. I have my own merch and it's really good quality stuff. Honestly, I I was rather surprised with how nice the material is The print is beautiful. It's not going to come off in the wash and it feels very comfortable. There's also Iron Bikini merch available on my website. Just go to themediajack.ca. That's where all the social media links are. That's where the merch store is as well. That's where you can go to check out the podcast prior episodes, either on audio or video, whatever the case may be. Also, it's the link there to Patreon where you can support me and all the work that I do and everything I do behind the scenes to bring you entertainment on one platform or another. And once again, if you'd like to donate and help out, you can buy merch or you can go to Patreon, just search for the Media Jack, and you can get a shout out like our executive producer yet again, Red Wolf Dawn. If you would like to help out, it just costs literally a couple of bucks a month. Or you can buy yourself some merch, either from the Media Jack line, Venting His Normal line, or the Iron Bikini line. It's all on the website, themediajack.ca. Without further ado, this is the care package that I sent to Marked Up Media and Carberry 80, James and Mark from Ohio. Oh, wow. We got the whole fam family. You got the cat, got the kid, got the the boss, and Mark and James. Boss? <laughs> I love how Rachel's like, wait, who's the boss? Me? <laughs> yes, you. So, yeah, um, Rachel, I don't know if you are aware, but they have no idea what I sent them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We have no idea. So, a, a couple Rachel. of things to, to note. First of all, um be careful because there are as i had I had mark in mind so i wanted to make it as be sexy careful. as possible there are some things inside of things oh <laughs> there you go yeah uh there are four things that are potentially fragile so don't be oh. like hucking things around okay I, just for you jd I... you look great i love it little Canadian spice for you. <laughs> Who doesn't love Rush? So there we go. So the story is that I sent this to you like two weeks ago. And um, yeah. this is a care package from Canada. And I sent mm-hmm. it in an old uh, magic spoon box. <laughs> and uh, it must have confused a few people because it's way heavier than any sort of cereal. But anyway... Uh, you guys have no idea what's in it. I sent as much Canadian stuff as possible. So um, yeah, go ahead. Let's see. You, did you leave any of the cereal in there? No, I did not. Okay, we're done here. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. All right. First item. Cool. Oh, we got the it's radio, yeah, the the radio station. Yeah, yeah. It's, so two, I love beanies. So yeah. So that's great. There you go. A couple oh, of... I need, uh, I need a better one. For hell yeah, man. Bean, beanies from the two radio stations that I work for. The primary one being 99.3 uh, Rewind Radio and then 101.3 The River, which James is sporting right now. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Look, it's the one I wear that works. My, my boss actually shut up like a big ass. You guys look like Bob and Doug McKenzie now. <laughs> that's awesome. Beanies. All right. James, that's you next. <clears throat> 
Okay. Ah! Uh, beer. What do you call it? Uh, the, the Snuggies, holders, uh, beer coolers. Um, yeah, they're from Caribou uh, Brewing here, uh, a, a local brewery in Prince George. A mask? A face mask, I think. Yeah, so a uh, it's, it's a mask from Northern Fan Con, and uh, that is the convention that happens here in Prince George. Um that we've had the likes of uh, Isaiah Mustafa, better known as the Old Spice guy, as well as William Shatner, uh, come up here and many d- different other uh, people. Good turn work. Oh, okay. So you have some. Uh... Perfect, because mine literally broke today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think yeah. there's. Uh, a, yeah, you have. Uh, that's that's the station ninety nine three Remind yes. Radio. And James, I think you have the news 101.3. one. One one point three. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, there you go. Yes. There we go. Now we're getting into it. Cheesy. Cheesy folks. <laughs> so that's Hawkins Cheesies. Um, they are strictly Canadian. They are delicious and crunchy and um i i was like that's like it was the first thing on the list of the things i had to send to you guys i got okay. you a bag each and um i i promise you it's it's not going to taste anything like what you've had in america it was going to taste pretty Cheetos. damn good oh yeah go for it mark go for it i even smell a little bit I, it doesn't smell as processed and filled with bullshit like Cheetos. Oh, wow. So, yeah, like they, they don't, every they Canadian. Don't place what was that, Mark? I feel like Cheetos taste like heavily like shit <laughs> because they're so processed and filled with nothing but bad, awful shit. Yeah. So, every, like, every Canadian kid has had those, you know multiple times in their lives. Hell, I probably even had a bag like a month ago. So weird to see on a bag made with real Canadian cheddar cheese. <laughs> I feel like a traitor. If the government saw me doing this, they they would I'd be gone. Yeah. Um I gotta say better than Cheetos. Yeah, you think so? And that's why I don't like regular Cheetos is because they just they're so like salty and just but these are this is a nice little balance right here. There you go. I might like export these. <laughs> Get them on a regular basis, eh? Oh yeah. And that that th- is the jaw jo- the the Ron Jeremy long cock of Cheetos. So they're not shaped in any way uh specific, right? They they every bag is absolutely different. It's not like they ha- they're molded or anything like that. They come out like that. I think I think the cheesies are a hit. Oh, oh boys! Oh wait, Smarties! Smarties, yes, a Christmas pack of Smarties. So that is a long box. There is smaller boxes inside of it. Uh, they are like M and M's, but not like M and M's. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. Know, we have we have Smarties, but they're they're like a fruity tart kind of thing. So that threw me off. Yeah. yeah, it's like a chalky kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. I, I'm, I'm aware of those, and uh, funny enough, uh, in Canada we call those rockets. Really? Yeah. Rockets. Oh, they're cute little. They're cute little. They're cute little. I'm doing the Rachel makeup thing. Yeah. They're cute little. They're yeah. Cute little packages. Yeah, That's exactly. cool. So they're just chocolate, uh, uh, candy covered chocolate. Um, they don't have any specific flavor, although some will argue that certain colors taste different than other colors. They're better than M and M's. You think so? No, they're they're better than M and M's. <laughs> I know M and M's are trash, but that's why they're like vastly superior. Well, we have. M&M's. They don't have any W's on them, so nobody messed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we have M and M's in Canada, but we also have Smarties, which are strictly a Canadian candy. And it's got a little maze game on the back. Oh yeah. Teach you about recycling. Yeah, exactly. It kind of has like a. Everybody, here you go. 
So we're hi. Hush the baby. <laughs> Canadian and not American. There you go. <laughs> Say thank you, JD. Oh, and right on my lap. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is there's, there's more in there. Well, I'm grabbing one of the heavier things that looks to be. Oh, wrapped. okay. Yeah. So be careful because there's two ends to that. Two ends. Yeah. Okay, I see the other end. I'm lifting. The there other you end. go. There you go. All right. So that's a scarf, a Canadian scarf. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Mark. Hey, hold on. Before we continue, so far, yes. I think, otherwise, the, the smarties are. Oh. Peak. <laughs> Hi, teacher. What is that? Maybe syrup. Oh, shit. Yeah. JD was like, I want to tell you what's in there, but I don't want to tell you what's in there. <laughs> got a scarf. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at that. Canadian scarf. Says, that is actually a leftover from the 2012 uh, Vancouver uh, Whistler uh, Olympic Games. Vintage. Yeah. And you guys, you guys each have a bottle of syrup, by the way. That is genuine Canadian maple syrup. You guys each have a bottle. All those, all those maple syrup A jokes I made. Now I can finally try it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably again vastly superior to our maple syrup. Possibly, yeah. Oh, Rachel's gonna. Dude, it smells. It. That is like such a nostalgic smell, oh, and I can't it. place where. It's like it's just the smell of it. Oh, you actually made pancakes. This wasn't the plan. Oh, the many pancakes. This wasn't the plan. <laughs> oh, that's hotter than Satan's ball. <laughs> Rachel, did you try the cheese? Oh my god. Yeah, I like. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh my god. It's got like a. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, you don't want to see you? What? What? Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. I've always said Rachel is beautiful. I like all of her Instagram posts, and I'm a big fan of her OnlyFans page. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a hazel nutty kind of taste. Yeah. I don't know if that's just me, but. No, it's good. It's, 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 it's like that's genuine maple syrup. Awesome, isn't it? I would. Wow! What? What? I that the microphone cut out there. What was that? Someone, someone's mother. <laughs> Pumpkin maple cookies. Isn't that good? Oh my god! Vastly superior than ours. Like maple syrup. Sorry, what was that, Rachel? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what else I've noticed too? Um, it's not as it's a lot of, like the consistency of it's different too. Oh yeah, ours is very thick. Yeah, this is like almost. Uh, I wanted to drink it so good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know. Yeah, it's just different like every way. Like everything about it's different. All right, your turn. Um, got. Don't even tell me, JD. I'm gonna to try to pronounce this. Arrow, arrow. Yeah, arrow. Just like Aerosmith. But it's a 100% sustainably sourced cocoa. Mm. Um, it's 42 grams of milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. 120 calories. <laughs> So here's here's the big thing with arrow bars. It's you 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 can eat an arrow bar just like a, a chocolate bar. That's fine. But the way that it's um, it's marketed is uh, it's it's flat on one side and it has a bubble on the top, right? The yes. way it's marketed is that that bubble is supposed to lay on your tongue, and then it slowly dissolves, and then you feel all the bubbles on the inside of it, and it just it's unlike any other chocolate bar out there. Um, the problem is that the chocolate is damn so damn good that uh, I have a hard time waiting. <laughs> I'm grab 
to Sal. Oh, that uh, is for Mark. Here you go, Mark. Uh, this is your uh, one thing Mark knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> here. There you go. Uh, When I was like six or seven, yeah. and I would throw my backpack off with my jacket still attached to the backpack, I would shove this game in here, and I would just do races over and over and over and over again. This is F-Zero X. This is one of my favorite fucking video games of all time. I'm not a big racing fan at all, but this game is fucking fantastic. And it's actually, fun fact, one of the only N64 games that ran at 60 FPS. There you go. Cool. I did not know that. Yes. Okay. You, you, uh, you, you, you were, like, you were on the search for it. So I went to my local, uh, yes. toy shop and said, do you have this? Can you bring this in? And, and, uh, they, uh, did their best. So. It's a beautiful condition too. Yeah. Every, everywhere I looked, it was like damn near $200. So oh, it didn't cost me that much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate that. You're welcome. It looks, like it, does. it looks like it came right out of the box. I have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. All right. It's even, it's even, it's got an extra layer. Oh yeah. Well, an extra row. Yeah. So, so the, the, the special flavored arrow bars, uh, they are a bit thicker because they wanted to add that extra flavor, but also make sure there was the same amount of chocolate throughout the entire. It smells like coffee. It smells like a Starbucks. Oh, okay. Not big that it smells like a Starbucks. That, that's pretty accurate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we move the camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I only live in a two bedroom apartment, but sure. Holy shit. <laughs> Alicia, you've got very, very good taste. Holy crap. <laughs> that is fucking fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I don't like to smell coffee, so I didn't think I was going to like that. Mm. But it's actually really good. Awesome. Oh my god. Awesome. I'm glad you guys like it. Oh my god. <laughs> There's more in there. Oh, that's for James. Hey, what's in here? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, what? You know what this is? What is it? This is extra hard drive. This is an extra hard drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. Well, I had, I got, I got Mark something. So James, I had to get you something. That is a two terabyte external hard drive. <laughs> yeah. now, now I can put this goes in my laptop, right? Yes. So I can play GTA online with you now, finally. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. We, just, we, we gotta make him. Yeah. Make him and another, another hat. Yeah, that hat actually matches the toque, is, or the uh, the scarf. Um, both of them are from the uh, the Winter Games in Vancouver. There's a little bit left. Yeah, there's some stuff. to match the lanyards and the hats <laughs> some pens from the radio yeah, station I yeah i would take that to work however i feel as though that would get taken in a minute too soon we uh, lose pens on my work so like if, I, if they're like you have a pen i show them this pen you know what they're gonna do be like <laughs> yeah. you know oh cool thanks so, yeah. be like, so if they take it you could just be like uh this was fucking given to me a Canadian friend, so I know <laughs> that you didn't just fucking find this and oh, it's mine. Yeah, no, it's, it's not, not, sir. Name, it's not. Name one personality off that station. Okay, so we got. Oh yeah, Caribou uh, Rocks the North, the uh, the the music festival that comes to town once a year. Probably better because this this hat will probably fit me because I have a big ass head. <laughs> This this is a stretch one, JD. Good call. Yeah, I, I try, I try. Both of them are Caribou Rocks and North hats, right? Yeah, oh, you have oh, a no. Ducks Unlimited hat, Mark. That's what that is. Okay. So those are. That's another suggestion from Alicia. Those are Tim Hortons granola bars. Tim Hortons is like your Dunkin' Donuts. No Tim Tams. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Tim Tams. No, no Tim Tams. No, <laughs> no Tim bits. No donut holes. No nothing. You just getting the. Know? You're just getting the granola bars. So, but those those were uh, suggested again by uh, Alicia. Yeah. 
Why? Why is everything better? Why is everything better? It's because it traveled hundreds and thousands of miles. That's why. <laughs> I was really worried when you said there was something fragile stuff, JD, that like the hand, like the packaging people are going to like just like, oh, <laughs> and just throw it everywhere. Yeah, no. It's my, my first impression was this. Uh, don't want to eat any more of it well that like i don't you, you kind of want to savor it and keep it for later i understand that that's fine i i appreciate the fact that you guys were willing to open things up and, and try it immediately by all means like yeah that's cool was that everything that's the whole box and we got a box, yeah. <laughs> we got a box. Magic box. there you go so there you go. Uh, you got hats. You got uh, beanies, also known as toques in Canada. You got some uh, legit uh, Winter Games gear. Uh, James, you got an external hard drive. External hard yep. drive? Fucking finally. <laughs> Mark, you got yourself a video game and cheesies and chocolate and maple syrup. Uh, that's the best I can do, packing it into that little box there. Oh, yeah. I then I explained all of this. You want to this? Yeah, pack yourself next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the plan. I need my big strong boy. Isn't that's the plan. So there you go. And Rachel, where'd she go? Stairs. Up. She's behind me. Oh, okay. You can't see me. If I was upstairs, you wouldn't be able to hear me. <laughs> so, uh, thought like you had a chance to try the cheesies and the chocolate and the maple syrup. Thoughts? It wants more. more. <laughs> That's a legitimate <laughs> answer. <laughs> Everything got the line. It's, it's so much better. It's so much better than what we have. I feel like after eating this, it's... You can really, again, especially with, like, the, the biggest one for me was the, the cheesies. Yeah. Like, you can definitely tell the difference of, yeah. like, just how processed our stuff is. Oh, yeah. It's just, like, how disgusting it is. Yeah, this ain't gonna taste nearly as bad. Yeah. <laughs> <It's easy. laughs> so, yeah. Um, I loved everything though. Oh, yeah. Well, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, quite frankly. Interesting thing about Cheesies is they've, they've never changed flavors. They've never done anything special. They've never done any sort of wild mixture or anything like that. It, Cheesies has been like that for years, for decades. Oh. Well, thank you, JD. You're very welcome. We need to we need to throw a get together one for you. Well, I mean, still working on uh, heading my way down there come March or April. So, I mean, one way or another, things will get evened out. I feel like our thing is going to completely like I I had I heard half of that. I'm sorry. She she said uh, basically she doesn't want to. We're going to send you our food because it may like throw you back on like your workout stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> food is food. It's just how you how you uh, add it to your diet. It's totally fine. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna get you the biggest box, JD. And when you if you come down with Alicia, we're just gonna bombard you with gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. It's a big ass box. That's something to look forward to. Then we've been wanting to do this for a bit. And uh, we've seen other people do this with other different products. And uh, we went shopping, what, just before Christmas? Yeah. And we saw Pringles. <laughs> a myriad of flavors. Exactly. <laughs> so we grabbed a small selection and we wanted to do a, a taste test because living in Canada, uh, British Columbia, we don't have these regular flavors. These have been chipped in through a weird store. I guess. Yeah, I have no idea where. Probably like some of them I think are like Chinese kind of. Yeah, some of them are clearly American too. So anyway, so we have four different Pringles. Uh, where do you want to start? I think we're going to end with the super hot spicy one. <laughs> yeah. So where do you want to start? I want to say hot honey just because it's more of a sort of common-ish. Hot one. honey? Yeah. Okay. How do you take spicy food? Not well. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a spicy food person. All right. So how many do you want to 
do here when it comes to Pringles? A couple. A couple? Yeah. Two? Three? Sure, three. Three? Yeah. Three. Three for you. Three for me. This is... Uh, there it is. Hot Honey Pringles. So we'll see how that goes. All right. You can taste the honey right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that. Spices. Not too much. Just on the tip of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. I like, I like <laughs> that. That's good for me. Which is tolerable. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It reminds me of Chinese food. What is that? I think I get... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's something there. It's like sweet and sour pork? Kind of. There's bit. that lingering flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you have this can? Would you finish it? Yeah. <laughs> Just the sweetness of it. I'm a sweet tooth, so. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Well, that was pretty good. That was good. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling the next sweet one will be the the pink can, so why don't you open up this one here? It is Philly cheesesteak. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation. Anything to do with Philly cheesesteak. Really? Domino's Philly cheesesteak pizza. Oh no, that's great. Used to be my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Three for you. Three. Three for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really? How's it smell? Like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> God, um, <laughs> like first it smells like feet. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, okay. I get it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Pringles Philly cheesesteak. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Mm. 100%. Oh, yeah. Like, you can taste the onion. You can taste the yeah. beef flavor. The cheese is very mild. Wow. Uh, I would I would I would leg wrestle you for this can. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed that flavor. Absolutely. Oh my god. Hmm. It's like sour cream and onion, right? But with more of the steak and cheese yeah oh no absolutely like yeah. definitely sour cream and onion but yeah there is definitely like a beef flavor there mm -hmm. wow that is really good all right so good ready to move on mm -hmm. all right <laughs> prawn weird. cocktail and i don't know what to expect here <laughs> me neither so i'm, I'm assuming it's like those little round tins you get with like the prawns and the dip in the middle. I would, yeah. That kind of thing. I would think so. All right. Three for you. Three for me. Like I'm dealing a really slow hand poker. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Prawn cocktail. Wait, should we do like sniff test? Oh yeah, I didn't even smell the cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! That hit my sinuses immediately. Oh, that's the the cocktail sauce. Wow! <laughs> All right. Oh, I can see through time now. <laughs> wow! It's got a lot of flavor. It tastes like a ketchup chip. Yeah, actually. Yeah. A spicy, like not not spicy as in like it's hot, but spicy as in like it's overpowering. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say it kind of tastes like all dressed. 
Oh. But I get the ketchup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not really getting any like prawn flavor. No, I'm getting yeah. So it's like you know that red sauce that comes with Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's what's the strong overpowering Is it marinara? Marinara no. sauce? What no, is... no. I think it's just like cocktail, cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hmm. I mean, Philly cheesesteak still kind of takes everything like i would go back to that can immediately mm -hmm. okay there's in the aftertaste there's more so like maybe prawn flavor something different i don't know if it's prawn though but just in the aftertaste yeah upon, yeah upon initially trying it it's like oh this is ketchup yeah if we did like a blind test you'd probably be like oh that's ketchup <laughs> yeah 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 it's like Ketchup with a little weirdness yeah, at the yeah. end. Something, someone got ketchup wrong is what that was. <laughs> I mean, it's it's good, but... Yeah. You want to open the last the one? Not favorite. Here? Sure, yeah. Yeah. I It wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah. Be like, that was kind of interesting, and then pass it around the table going, you try, you try. Yeah, like, I'm not going to not gonna miss that one if everybody ate it. <laughs> exactly. All right, this is sizzling... Extra, extra hot. hot. I don't know where to look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Right there. Sizzling extra hot chili and cheese. Go ahead and take your three. Cheese and chili. Uh -uh. Yeah. What does it smell like? Oh. It smells like Pringles. Again, I don't know if it's just me or whatever. It was like feet. <laughs> Oh, the there is like cheese in it. So, oh, maybe uh, that's it. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I licked my fingers, and now the end of my tongue is burning. Oh no! <laughs> well, we know what we're in for now. All right, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Don't touch your eyes. <laughs> the heat is definitely there, immediately. Yep. And I could taste the cheese. Oh, right on the tip of the tongue. It's like a, like a mozzarella cheese. It's not a ch sharp cheddar. Oh yeah, like pizza mozzarella. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hmm. No, the heat is there. Like it coats the tongue immediately. Yeah. If you kept eating them, you would need some milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to need some milk right now. Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't be my first pick. Like, well, I've had spicy, yeah. I've had spicy chips <laughs> that were more flavorful. But then again, maybe like we're spoiled with like other chips that have like they're just coated with flavor type yeah thing. so all right working backwards cool. sizzling hot sizzling extra hot chili cheese and chili flavor which yeah you can see the the representation of mozzarella at the bottom here swiss um, cheese <laughs> yeah, yeah there's holes in it yeah. Swiss cheese. yeah what do you think? I just taste spice. That's all. Like, spice? That's out for me. <laughs> the, there's a hint of cheese in there. If there was no spice, just like cheese and like chili as in like a mild like the soup. Yeah. That'd be fine. All right. Prawn cocktail, which, what do you think? It was good. It was good? It was just a chip. Like. If if you would have added one more word to that title, it would have been prawn cocktail sauce. No one no one would have argued. Yeah. You know? It's just a lot of sauce. Yeah. Pretty but much. But like ketchup sauce. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Philly cheesesteak. Oh my nose is running now. <laughs> <laughs> Cleared the airways. <laughs> this uh 
This is actually my favorite. So good. Yeah, I agree. Like I you, you're right. It must be the cheese because I get feet. <laughs> like, that's all I smell. But I mean, the the flavor like it hits all the marks. Yeah, you know? it does. <clears throat> yeah. And finally, the first one we tried, which was hot honey, which yeah, the honey flavor is there absolutely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell. We didn't even do that the oh, first yeah. time. <clears throat> smells like the fair. Really? Yeah, like um, something, some sort of uh, frying pastry. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Like churros or something. Yeah. <laughs> or the fried donuts, maybe. No. Yeah. No. No. I think you're on the right track. Really? Yeah. Some sort it's, of flaky pastry. Yeah. It's like if it was just a slight hint of cinnamon and, yeah. and brown sugar, you'd be like absolutely on the mark. Well, let's just dump that in there and shake it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We made a whole new flavor. All right. So, like, we should have gotten, like, regular Pringles as, like, mm. a baseline. But we yeah. know what Pringles taste like. Yeah. So, without thinking too hard on it, hot honey. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten? Mm-hmm. I would, I would go with seven, sure. Mm-hmm. Philly cheesesteak? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> no argument here. <clears throat> Prawn cocktail. <laughs> Five out of ten. Five? I would it go... was okay. Yeah. I mean, we, we, all, we all like ketchup, right? But we're expecting something different. With exactly. This. I think like a six because like the flavor was there mm. and like it definitely gets your taste buds, but uh, wasn't what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. You know? And finally, the sizzling extra hot cheese and chili flavor. Four out of ten. I would say a six for me. Yeah. Um, you like spicy. I like spicy. <laughs> and that one definitely satisfies that spicy itch, but um, doesn't go much further. Yeah. Yeah. There was a slight good aftertaste, but then you're kind of overwhelmed by the burning tip of your tongue. <laughs> and I can actually, like, I can still feel it in the back of my throat, actually. So, oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. I still feel it on the tip <clears throat> of my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So... I don't know. Uh, you let us know what you thought about this. and Have you tried any of these? Yeah. And also, if there's any suggestions out there for other food products, not necessarily Pringles, because we're w willing to venture out, let us know, by all means. Um, comments, suggestions, whatever the case may be. She's uh, Alicia Simpson 13 or Alicia Simpson or the Iron Bikini. I'm JD, the Media Jack. All over social media. Check out our merch, god damn it. Uh, yeah. We have shirts and hoodies and mugs and... All kinds of cool stuff. All kinds of cool, st cool stuff. Uh, TheMediaJack.ca Anyway, thanks for... Yeah. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. You you want more, Feely? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.